Chapter number 63 entitled Lord Krishna Fights with Banasura, beginning from text number 41. Yo na 
Shiva address Lord Krishna. Lord Krishna had come with his army, with all of his associates and Antaraj and his army, they'd all come to attack Banasura in his home at Sunnitapur. Banasura is a, he's a son, one of the he's the eldest son of Bali Maharaj. Right. Right. Bali Maharaj was great he surrendered everything to Lord Bamanade. And Bali Maharaj was the grandson of Prahlad Maharaj. Right, we know Prahlad was born in the demon family. So Bana was the eldest son of Bali and he was a great devotee of Lord Shiva. Given a lot of he pleased Lord Shiva by uh, uh, playing the drum to inspire Lord Shiva in his dancing. But so, so Lord Shiva had given a, a blessing to him. And Bana requested that the blessing should be that Lord Shiva would remain there at his kingdom and if anybody attacked him, Lord Shiva would help to defend. So because uh, Lord Krishna's grandson, Anirudh, had been taken, been secretly brought into the palace of Banasura, and he'd had an, a, a relationship with Banasura's daughter, Usha. So the whole thing happened without knowledge of Bana and he was very angry to see that his daughter was having a relationship with a man without his knowledge. So he had, he had Krishna's grandson Anirudha captured and put in the prison. So when Anirudha had disappeared, nobody knew where he'd gone, and then the four months of chapter Masya passed and still he did not come. They were very worried. And then Narada Muni came and he told them what happened. So Lord Krishna immediately organized his army to come there. And Krishna's army came, they damaged all the surrounding area around Banasura's kingdom. There were many different nice roads and canals and so on. But because uh, Krishna came there with all of his army, they destroyed it all. So Bana got very angry. You know, army people, you know, they, they break everything and they, they, don't, they, don't, they, they don't take care so well of things. They just, 
。咁呢啲軍隊嚟到嘅時候，我哋都知道佢哋會誒、呃、摧毀一切啦，唔會話留守下留情嘅。So Banasura got very angry, and he organized his army, and they came out. They had a great battle. 於是 Banasura 就非常之憤怒啦。佢有組織佢自己嘅軍隊咧，就準備去到迎戰。And at one point, Banasura was Lord Krishna was、uh, almost going to kill Banasura. 去到有一點，主 Krishna 差唔多要將 Banasura 殺死。But Bana's mother came to help him,、mm -hmm. and she she used a special tactic that she came naked in front of Lord Krishna with her hair untied,、mm -hmm. so Lord Krishna didn't want to look at him. So Banasura took that opportunity to escape and got went back into his palace. Banasura 咧就趁機咧，趁呢個機會咧就即刻就逃走啦，翻翻佢嘅城裏面。But then, after some time, then there was another fight, another battle going on. After some time, Banasura came back. 又翻嚟又翻嚟又開始另外一場嘅戰。Because Lord Krishna had, was killing all the army of Banasura. Lord Krishna 将 Bana 嘅所有呢啲嘅军队都歼灭。So then Bana came out himself. Bana 就自己出嚟。And they had a, they had a great battle with Lord Krishna. 然之后又再同 Krishna 去到作战。Now Banasura had one weapon, which oh no, what happened? What what Banasura was fighting? Oh, Lord Krishna began to cut off the arms of Banasura because Banasura had one thousand arms. Banasura 咧，佢有一千隻手臂，所以當佢同 Krishna 作戰嘅時候咧 ，Krishna 將佢啲手臂咧斬斷佢。That's why he could play the drums so well. He had a thousand hands. You see. 所以咧，佢打鼓打得咁厲害，因為有一千隻手打。But Lord Krishna came, and Lord Krishna started to cut off his arms. Krishna 嚟到嘅時候咧，就開始將佢啲手臂咧斬斷。So Bana was worried. Bana 就擔心。啊 ，no， Shiva was worried because Shiva has to protect Bana。咁啊 ，Shiva 就好憂慮啦，因為 Shiva 應承過咧會保護 Bana。So、uh, Lord Shiva began to offer these prayers to Lord Krishna to request Lord Krishna to spare the life of Bana. 於是舒伯咧就向誒主 Krishna 去到求饒啦，希望咧佢放過個 Bana。Of course, Lord Krishna will. He's not going to kill Bana. 咁 Krishna 會咁樣做嘅，因為佢唔會將 Bana 殺死。Because Bana is coming in the family of Prahlad Maharaj. Bana 咧係佢係誒佢係源自 Prahlad 王嘅家族。And Prahlad Maharaj had requested Lord Narsingha Dev that please don't kill my father. 咁而 Prahlad 王咧曾經向主嘅星哈爹咧去請求咧唔好將佢父親殺死。But then Lord Narsingha Dev told Prahlad to don't worry, not only your father, but for many generations, all of your family will all protect you. 然之後主嘅星哈爹咧就答應 Prahlad 就話咧唔使擔心，唔單止你嘅父親會得到保護，而且你嘅家族好多世代都會得到保護。So this.、Uh, Bana was not going to be killed by Lord Krishna. 所以 Bana 咧唔會被主 Krishna 所殺死。So we're hearing Lord Shiva offer his prayer. This was the prayer, one one of the prayers of Lord Shiva, which we read today. 嗯，我哋今日聆聽到就係主 Shiva 咧去獻上嘅禱文，其中嘅。So he says, Lord Shiva understands the value of the human form of life. Lord Shiva, he knows the value of the human form of life. To get the human form of life, you know, is very rare. To get the human form of life, you know, is very rare. It's a gift. It's a gift. It's a gift from God. 
So Krishna has given us this valuable human form of life because in, only in the human form of life we can understand God consciousness. So then Lord Shiva goes on to say that one who does not control his senses and who does, doesn't honor your lotus feet, then he is Shita. And so he sh that person sh should be pitied. Pitied. You know, if somebody is a cheater, we should pity them. We feel sorry for them. That you, oh, we feel sorry that you, you have to do such disgusting, you have to behave in such a bad way. Yeah. We, can, we have to control our senses and we have to give proper respect for the lotus feet of the Supreme Lord. If we don't do that, then Lord Shiva says, then we are cheaters. Just like, just like in the material world, mother and father give birth to children. So children have some duty towards their mother and father. Mother and father expect the children will be uh, taking care of them and be thoughtful and think of their welfare. And similarly on the spiritual platform, Lord Krishna is the Supreme Father. Because he has given us this human form of life. In the material understanding, we think mother and father have given us the human form of life. But Lord Shiva takes the, the, the understanding to a higher level of thinking that we should understand that ultimately this human form of life is a gift of God, it's not just simply the gift of the mother and father. The mother and father, they cannot determine, you know, what body they're going to get or how the child will be. Mother and father cannot protect their children from getting injured or getting sick or suffering diseases. We are all under the control of the Supreme Lord. So by the grace of the Supreme Lord, we get the human form of life. And that means we have a duty to the person who gave us this human form. So Lord Shiva, Lord Shiva says our duty is two things, to control our senses and to honor the lotus feet of the Lord. Uh, we may say, well, come on, why is Shiva talking like that? He's just been fighting with Krishna and he's telling us we should honor his feet. 
，咁我哋會問咯，主舒伯先至同 Krishna 作字，點解佢會講呢番説話嘅咧？話要榮耀主 Krishna 嘅身足。Uh, Shiva was fighting with them. He was doing battle with them. Why didn't Shiva show the example of honoring his feet? Um, Shiva is with Krishna, is doing battle. Why did he show the example of honoring his feet? Um, Shiva is with Krishna, is doing battle. Why didn't Shiva show the example of honoring his feet? Um, Shiva is with Krishna, is doing battle. Why didn't Shiva show the example of honoring his feet? Um, Shiva is with Krishna, is doing battle. The Krishna is greater. This the Krishna is the supreme, and Lord Shiva is also worshiping Krishna. He has two reasons for doing this. The first reason is to show the world that Lord Krishna is the supreme, and Lord Shiva is also worshiping Krishna. The other reason is to show the world that Lord Krishna is the supreme, and Lord Shiva is also worshiping Krishna. The other reason is to show the world that Lord Krishna is the supreme, and Lord Shiva is also worshiping Krishna. The other reason is to show the world that Lord Krishna is the supreme, and Lord Shiva is also worshiping Krishna. The other reason is to show the world that Lord Krishna is the supreme, and Lord Shiva is also worshiping Krishna. The other reason is to show the world So it was very subtle. This um, this uh, action of Lord Shiva that we, we may think, oh Lord Shiva is envious of Krishna. Lord Shiva, this action is very subtle. We may think, oh Lord Shiva is envious of Krishna. Lord Shiva, this action is very subtle. We may think, oh Lord Shiva is envious of Krishna. Lord Shiva, this action is very subtle. We may think, oh Lord Shiva is envious of Krishna. Lord Shiva, this action is very subtle. We may think, oh Lord Shiva is envious of Krishna. Lord Shiva, this action is very subtle. But it was arranged like this that Shiva would fight against Krishna. Shiva is Krishna's servant, so he will not fight against Krishna. But actually, it was already arranged that this would happen. So Lord Shiva is speaking like this, and Krishna is speaking like this. So Lord Shiva is speaking like this, and Krishna is speaking like this. So Lord Shiva is speaking like this, and Krishna is speaking like this. So Lord Shiva is speaking like this, and Krishna is speaking like this. So Lord Shiva is speaking like this, and Krishna is speaking like this. So Lord Shiva is speaking like this, and Krishna is speaking like this. So Lord Shiva is speaking like this, and Krishna is speaking like this. So Lord Shiva is speaking like this, and Krishna is speaking like this. So Lord Shiva is speaking like this, and Krishna is speaking like this. Shri Shiva 咧，能目睹到咧 ，Krishna 唔單止摧毀佢嘅軍隊啦，而且將佢嘅武器 Shiva Dwara 咧都摧毀。Right, they were releasing different weapons. They would, what Shiva would fire the wind, the 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 what the, the fire weapon, and what Krishna would create the water weapon to put out the fire. 佢哋用發射出唔同嘅武器啦，主書法會發射出呢個火嘅武器啦，而 Krishna 咧就會發射出呢個水嘅武器。Or then, then Bana or Lord Shiva would send the the wind weapon and Lord Krishna would put mountain there to stop the wind。主書法咧會發射出呢個風嘅武器咧，然之後咧 Krishna 咧會用一座大山咧去到誒阻擋呢個風。Lord Shiva would release a Brahmastra, and Krishna would release a Brahmastra to counteract. Then Shiva would use a Brahmastra to fight. Then Krishna 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 would use a Brahmastra to fight. But the Vishnu Dwara weapon was freezing everything. But the Vishnu Dwara this weapon was freezing everything. So the Shiva Dwara became frozen as he got near Lord Shiva. As the Shiva Dwara weapon came, he was frozen as he got near Lord Shiva. As the Shiva Dwara weapon came, his fire went out and he lost his heat because the, the Vishnu Dwara weapon was freezing. Hmm. So when this Vishnu Dwara weapon came, so the Shiva Dwara weapon had to surrender to Lord Krishna. Shiva Dwara Because the Vishnu Dwara was putting out the fire, and the Shiva Dwara could not. It was very painful for him to lose all of this. So the 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 Shiva Dwara also understood the supremacy of Krishna and took the shelter of Krishna's lotus feet. Shiva Dwara, this weapon, he also understood Krishna and took the shelter of Krishna's lotus feet. So in the material world, people prophesy there's two kinds of people. So in the material world, people prophesy there's two kinds of people. One is the cheater, and the other is cheated. 整翻翻講過喺呢一個物質世界裏面有兩類人，一個咧就係去到騙子，一個咧就係被騙
And so here Lord Shiva said, we don't control our senses and wish and honor the lotus feet of Krishna, then we are also cheaters. Because the, the, the Lord sends people to give us the, 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 we've been given this blessing of the human form of life and the opportunity of the human life, the facilities which come with the human body. So this is all the blessings from the Lord. And with that, then there's a responsibility. And the responsibility is to control our senses, first of all. Because if we don't control our senses, then we just think everything is there for our sense enjoyment. We think it's all mine, it's for me to enjoy. So this is a cheater. So first control the senses and then second thing, honor the lotus feet of the Lord. If we don't honor the Lord's lotus feet, then we can never expect to get a good destination. We will remain in the material world. We will read the next verse. That mortal who rejects you, his true self, dear most friend and lord, for the sake of sense objects, whose nature is just the opposite, refuses nectar and instead consumes poison. Purport. The person described above is pitiable because he rejects that which is actually dear. The Lord accepts that which is not. The person described above is pitiable because he rejects that which is actually dear, the Lord, and accepts that which is not dear and is ungodly, temporary sense gratification, <coughs> which leads to suffering and bewilderment. <laughs> 以及上有價值的並不虔誠的,都很痛苦同埋迷惑的短暫的感覺。So this verse is a continuation from the previous what was from the one we were reading. And Lord Shiva is describing about the nature of the mentality of that person who rejects the Lord. And he, he's described, he rejects the Lord just simply for sense, to enjoy his senses. So he said that person is like somebody who takes poison instead of nectar. There's two, there, two things there. Nectar is there and poison is there. He's saying, give me the poison. People like sense gratification. They say, give me sense gratification. No, I want the sense gratification. They don't understand it's actually poison. 
they don't understand what's going to hatch, what's going to happen, what are the, what are the, the results of our sensual activities. And when we suffer, then people start, oh, why are we suffering? Oh. Why, why this happened to me? But when we're enjoying the senses and oh, I'm having a great time, I'm happy. I like this poison, this poison is very, oh, I'm having a good time with this poison. So, Lord Shiva describes actually who is the Lord. That he's our dear most friend. We reject him, but he's actually a real friend. We're looking so many other friends. My boyfriend, my girlfriend. We lose, we have all these friends, but the real friend, the dear most friend, is the Lord in the heart. Lord Shiva said, He is the true self. There's a, the, the true self, the original self within the heart of every living entity is the Lord. We're, we're so much in the bodily consciousness of life. We only relate to physical bodies. So we have to understand the actual situation. Who is the person? The real person is not the body. The body is just a vehicle. The body is just a dress covering the soul. And the real person is the, self, the soul within the body. And that person who is the, the Lord of everything, who is Bhagavan, he is our best friend. Just like if you have friendship with some great personality, some famous movie star or some famous politician will feel so proud. Sometimes people are so anxious that, oh, this person's coming, can you bring this person to my house, you know? I will give a big donation if you bring them to my house. When some movie star come, when they open the new jewelry shop in Dubai. When they open the new jewelry shop in Dubai, they brought this famous movie star from Bombay. But I heard when he went to America, he came to America, and the American immigration went there. He said, Don't you know who I am? I'm Sir. He said, We don't care who you are. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so people think, I'm so famous, you should know who I am. 
Vincent, she called a little far away. Nobody knows who you are. <laughs> <laughs> Some people, you know, they're thinking they're the Lord. Who is actually the Lord? People have some fame, temporary fame that come to last for only a short time. But who was that with Su Devi, was it? Or oh, Sri Devi. Sri Devi. She also died in Dubai, right? Yeah. Yeah. And when she died, they brought her to Bombay, and so many people came to pray to walk in the street with the body. Sri Devi. Sri Devi. Where is she now? She was famous. But then in the material world is very temporary. But Krishna is the real famous person. Krishna is the world of everything and everyone. He is the he is the Lord of everything and everyone. And he remains famous eternally. Even the demigods sing the glories. So Lord Shiva, he understands that he is offering his respects to Lord Lord Shiva is saying all of this because he wants to protect his devotee. He doesn't want Lord Krishna to harm Vibhana. Okay, any question? Comment? We're nearly finished the battle. Lord Krishna will let Bana stay with let, let Bana stay in the association of Lord Shiva. Lord Krishna. Lord Shiva is a devotee. So Bana gets the association of Lord Shiva. We hope Bana also can become the Lord. And he does, he actually brings Aniruddha and Usha and they go to Dwarka. And when they get to Dwarka, there's a big reception to welcome them. Everyone in Dwarka is rejoicing, Lord Krishna is returning and he's brought Usha and Aniruddha. So it's a beautiful pastime. Okay, Srimad Bhagavatam ki, Srimad Prabhupada ki.